A pool hall in Italy might not seem like an ideal place to encounter the Lord, but God can meet you where you're at. It's this fact that Pierre Giorgio Prezzati was always aware of. If life was a dark pool hall, Prezzati was the light above the table that illuminated the truth of God's work. He bet his friends that if they could defeat him in a game of pool, he would give them money. However, if he won, they would have to promise to go to Mass with him. If they lost a silly little game, they actually won a prize worth so much more. He seemed like an ordinary young man, but hidden in between his love for mountain climbing and other sports, he secretly provided for the needs of the poorest around him. He would provide food, money, and medicine. He would run errands for them as well. Most of the people he spent time with were not people who practiced their faith. His father was agnostic, his mother was somewhat indifferent, and his friends would fall asleep in church. The important thing is, that he never looked down upon those who didn't share his faith. He gently guided them towards God. Eventually, at the young age of 24 years old, Pierre Giorgio got sick from the sick people he took care of. When his family realized how serious it was, it was too late, and he died in bed. One of his very last acts was to pay for a prescription for an ill man. When Prezzati's funeral was held, thousands of poor people surrounded the church to mourn. Here was a man who saw Christ in each one of them, and in turn reflected Christ back to them. This outpouring of love was a point of conversion for his parents, whom after his death went back to the sacraments and decided to stay married. When Frazzati was beatified in 1990, John Paul II declared him the man of the eight beatitudes. The beatitudes are the eight blessings from Jesus' famous Sermon on the Mount. An example would be, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. There is an emphasis on mercy and compassion in this discourse. Every situation Jesus presents is followed by a reward for the suffering the person experienced. What is illustrated here is that every person, no matter how pathetic and downtrodden he or she may be, has infinite value to God. Frazzati recognized this and made great sacrifices to take care of those less fortunate than him. He saw Jesus in each of them, and it wasn't just the poor beggar on the street that received the care of Frazzati. It was also the poor in spirit, his friends, and his family. His zeal for Christ allowed him to be Christ-like to others, and to give his entire life to a cause higher than the mountains he climbed. To the heights is a rough translation of a message he wrote on a photograph found in his possession. In it, Pierre Giorgio was hanging from a mountain face. He felt he could find God in the mountaintops. By his holiness, he could show God to people anywhere, even if that place was a dark pool hall.